My name is Hong Kong. It means fragrant harbor. But in early days, I lost the scent of that fragrance. As winds of war blew the fragrance away, Jin Han Mongols all came. They tried to rule me. But then trade came, and she helped to raise me. I thought I had nothing, but she showed me. I had, in fact, a great treasure, the greatest harbor in all of the world, attracting ships from far across the ocean. She adopted me as her own daughter, and our harbor became a crown of immense value. The ships brought many things, some great, some not so great. One of the best was more family, my new sister. Money. We arranged a deal: a hundred year lease with the barbarian British. Together, we grew very, very rich. We had more exports, more imports, more wealth, and soon more skyscrapers than any nation on earth. On the rock of Hong Kong, flower grew again. It was bordered by Western values. The fragrance returned. And at last, I recognized the scent. Freedom was powerful. It had sparked revolutions around the world, in places like America, where people like me fought for their right to exist, to own property, to pursue happiness. But freedom, I soon learned, was also fragile. While we had grown in wealth and freedom, communism had come to China. Chairman Mao slaughtered tens of millions of his own people in name of the greater good. When the day came when the British left and the communists took over, I learned who the true barbarians are. The communists trampled their promises, trampled our rights, trampled our freedom. When we were betrayed here at home by the communists and their lies, we protested. They broke our bones, but the Americans broke our hearts. Because while my people, fighting for their freedom, were waving the American flag in our streets, begging for freedom, Americans were waving the communist flag in their streets, begging for dictatorship. Hong Kong, fragrant harbor, will never stop fighting for the smell of freedom. What about you, America?